Listen, this is another quadratic quadratic system. So I'm going to use the approach of elimination. Before I do anything though, I can simplify these because there's common factors. I'm going to take the first equation and first I will just rewrite it so that it's in more of a standard form. So I'm going to subtract 4x squared from both sides. So it's negative 4x squared plus 4y squared equals negative 28. Okay, this is still equation 1. I'm going to divide this by 4. Divide both sides by the common factor of 4. That's going to give me negative x squared plus y squared equals negative 7. For this second equation, I have a common factor of 5. So I'll divide both sides by 5 to get x squared plus y squared. 125 divided by 5 is 25. Now, all I have to do is add these two together because I have a negative 1 for a coefficient here and a 1 here. These cancel out. y squared plus y squared is 2y squared. 25 minus 7 is 18. Just solve for y squared. y squared equals 18 divided by 2. Okay, so I divided both sides by 2. y squared is 9. Therefore, y equals plus or minus 3 by taking the square root of 9. That means that y equals 3, and y could also equal negative 3. Now, I need to go back and substitute into these equations, one of these equations, when y equals 3, and figure out what x is. So then I need to see when y is negative 3, what is x going to be? Um, let's see. So the easiest one to work with would be this. And I, I could go back in and use the top one, but since I divided both sides by the same thing, I didn't really change this equation, and it's a lot easier to work with this without these larger coefficients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say let's let y equal 3. And then I'm going to look at this. x squared plus y squared equals actually this first one. first one is a smaller number over here. I'm going to say negative x squared plus y squared equals negative 7. And let's rearrange this a bit because we're looking for x. So let's move this y squared to the other side. And now I'm stuck with a bunch of negatives. And what I can do is just multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. And that gives me x squared equals y squared plus 7. Now, this is what I'm going to substitute back into. Again, you could have taken either of these forms. But I just took this, made it easier to work with, solve for x squared. I'm going to substitute 3 in wherever there's a y. So x squared equals 3 squared plus 7. Therefore, x squared equals 9 plus 7. So x squared equals 16, which means that x equals plus or minus 4. So x could equal 4 x could equal negative 4 when y is 3. So let's start our solutions up here. When x is 4, y is 3. When x is negative 4, y is 3. So that's two solutions so far. That's when y is 3. But recall, y can also equal negative 3. So when y is negative 3, I'm going to go back into that equation and substitute negative 3 and see what I get for x. Negative 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. So again, I get x equals plus or minus 4. So x could equal 4 and x can equal negative 4. But this time, y is negative 3. So this is two different solutions from, from what I had up here. So when x is 4, y is negative 3. That point is a solution for this system of equations. When x is negative 4, y is negative 3. So there are four solutions. If you graph this out, you would find that these intersected at four points. So this is pretty complicated. Um, the initial part actually wasn't that bad, but keeping track of all the different solutions was a little bit challenging. We start out with these two equations that I simplified by dividing the first by its common factor of 4 and the second by its common factor of 5. Then you added them together, the x squared terms dropped out, which allowed you to just solve for y. I got two solutions for y, 3 and negative 3. 
I took each of those solutions, y equals 3 and y equals negative 3, and plugged them into this equation here, this equation right here, to find corresponding values for x. That yielded these two solutions, and then y equals negative 3, when I found the x values that corresponded to that, I got two more solutions for a total of four solutions.